Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you guys are doing well. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about the link. So if you are a full stack developer or back end developer, right, you cannot survive in the industry without knowing the concept of link. Okay. So these are the most known concept uh, you need to know. So I am going to cover all these concepts uh, in details using C# code with practical explanation of okay? it. So I hope you will enjoy the video and you will watch it till the end. And uh, if you like this kind of content, then please do not hesitate to subscribe our channel. Okay. So let's get straight into the system. The first thing we are going to see is how you can find the distinct uh, numbers, okay, from the list using link key, okay. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to create a list. So let's say where list of numbers is equal to new list of integers, okay. And then I'm going to initialize this list with some numbers. So let's say one, two, comma. 2, 4, 5, 6, 6, 6. Okay. So ideally, uh, what would be your distinct number? So it should be 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6, right? So let's see how you can do it uh, using link you. So we can write where distinct number is equal to we can take LST numbers, okay, and then we can apply dot distinct. Okay. Let's run this program. So if you see, uh, this is giving me result view as 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, okay? As of now, this is giving me the result is uh, i enumerable, okay? So if you want to print the list itself, then what you have to do is you have to write here dot to list, okay? So this is another important thing. Now if you run this program, you will get the result directly in the distinct number, okay? So see that we are getting it directly here, okay? So that's all now the next concept we are going to see is about filtering okay again we are going to uh, declare one list so let's say list of numbers is equal to again new list and then let's see i'm declaring one list with three four five six seven okay that's it now if someone asks you to find the even number and odd number from this list okay how you can do it so one way of doing is uh, you can go through the for loop uh, and then apply the uh, condition of odd and even number. The other way of doing uh, it uh, very quickly is using the link. Okay, so let's see. So we want to find out the even number. So we can write even num is equal to lst num dot where, and then we are going to use the lambda expression. Okay, so x tends to x modulo two is equal to is equal to zero if that is the case then we are going to take all those elements and we are going to print the list okay so this will give you the even number now let's do it for uh, odd number as well so where odd num is equal to so again list of number dot where and then here just one change so x modulo 2 not is equal to not equal to zero okay and then dot to list okay let's run this program so if you see what we are getting in the even number so we are getting two four and six okay in the odd number if you see what we are getting we are getting one three five seven okay so that is how we can do the filtering using link queue okay let's move to the next concept so we will see how you can sort uh, the numbers in the ascending order as well as in descending order using the link queue. Okay? So I'm leaving the list as it is and then I'm going to find out. So I can write where and then uh, number ascending. Okay. And then let's use it. So we can write it. So, so we can use this uh, list. Okay. Dot use order by. Okay. Order by. And then again we can. And then again, we can use the lambda expression. So this is something x, okay? And then that's fine, okay? So this will ideally give me the numbers in ascending order, okay? Let's try for descending order as well. So we can write where num and then dsc is equal to lst num dot order by descending, okay? And then that's it. Let me do one thing, okay? Let me just uh, convert this to list as well so that we can directly see the result and here also. 
use dot to list okay let me run this program so in num ascending if you see what we are getting we are getting in ascending order okay and in the num descending we are getting the result in descending order okay so this is how you can uh, do this using the link you okay so the next concept we are going to see is about uh, first first and first or default okay so let's see what exactly is the difference between these two okay so let's say if you want to find out the first element from this list okay so how you can do it so you have to do like this so where first is equal to you can write lst num dot first okay so this will give you the first element from the list but here is the challenge if the list is empty okay then you are going to get the exception let's try that okay so what we are going to do is we are going to create another list so list empty okay and here we are going to initialize the list and we are not going to provide any element to the list okay so this list is basically empty now if you want to do this where let's say first empty is equal to lst empty dot first okay then this thing is going to give you the exception okay so this first is fine okay this will give you the one but this one is going to give you the error because list is empty let's see that see so this has thrown the exception right so this is invalid operation exception if you see the detail it says sequence contains no elements okay so in order to get rid of this problem there is a first or default okay so if i use first or default here there won't be any change in the result because uh, the list is having some element okay but if you use first or default here it is going to solve your exception problem so this will give you zero okay let's see that so if you see this is giving you zero okay first empty is giving you zero it has not thrown any exception if you want to find out the last element from the list you need to use last or default okay and here also last or default okay this will give you the last element from the list okay even if it's empty it, it is going to give you zero so the next concept is about any okay so uh, this is going to give you either true or false okay so let's see i have first list here and uh, let me give the name as uh, let's see second list okay second list and let me give this name as uh, first come on first list okay so in the second list i am going to keep as only odd number okay three five and seven okay now let me show you one positive result okay so if i want to check if this list has any even number or not okay how you can check it so you can see that so where check even is equal to i'm going to use this uh, first list okay and then i'm going to write dot any and then i'm going to use uh, the lambda come on and then i'm going to use the lambda expression to evaluate whether x modulo 2 is equal to is equal to zero okay so if you apply this this list is going to be checked for a number which can be divided by two okay if that is the case then it is going to return you true else it will return false so obviously there is one number there is two three three numbers are there which is divisible by two so this will return you true if you try the same logic with the second list it is going to return you false let's see that so where check even and let's say uh two okay is equal to let's say we are using second list dot and we are going to apply the same logic right so, is equal to, is equal to, so that's it okay save it let's run this okay so if you see what we are getting in the check even it is true okay but if you see check even two it is giving me false because this list doesn't have any element which can be divided by two so that is the concept of any okay now the next concept is about all function okay so you have seen any right so any is going to check if any of these elements satisfy the condition okay but this all function is going to check if every number satisfy the condition or not okay so if i apply all here okay this is going to return me false because not all the elements are divided by two 
Okay, and if you want to check uh, this list with uh, whether we have the odd numbers or not using this all, it is going to give you true because all the numbers are odd. Okay, let's check this. So we can write where check odd is equal to second list, and then here I can divide that with true, and then we can check if not equal to zero. Okay. So second list is going to be checked against this criteria. Okay. Let's run this program. So if you see check even has given you the result as false, but this uh, check odd has given you true because we have all the elements in the second list which are odd number. Okay? So the next concept we are going to see is about uh, a skip and take. Okay. So a skip and take. So let's see uh, the example. So let's see I want to take the first three element from this list. Okay. So what we can do is we can write where first three is equal to first list dot sorry dot take and then we can write three okay so this is gonna give you the first three elements from the list okay let's see i want this five element okay i want i do not want uh, these two element from the starting so for that what we can use is we can use a skip okay so let's see where skip first so for that what we can write is first list okay dot skip okay and then we can write two because we want to skip first two elements okay now let's run this and see what we are getting in these two variables so guys if you see first three is giving me the first three element of the list okay one two and three which is correct the skip first two variable is giving me the five elements so which is three four five six seven okay guys so the next concept we are going to see is a very interesting that is zip concept so for that let me take uh, the list of numbers first okay so this is going to be list of integer and then i'm going to take three elements here three integer you can say okay so that's all now the second thing we are going to take as letters okay so this is going to be the list of character so new list of character okay uh, and then we are going to take here as character a okay and then b and then c okay so that's all now i want my output to be okay is equal to right now i want my output to be 1 a 2 b and 3 c okay so what jeep will do is okay it will merge the elements at the corresponding position so where so where result is equal to we can write uh, numbers numbers dot zip okay so this zip function is going to merge the element at the corresponding position so your first element position is going to be merged with the first element position from both the list okay so what we can do is we can pass here letters letters comma here i can write uh, num comma later okay and then we can use this and uh, how we want to display the result as so let me display this as uh, let me take one dollar sign and something like this okay so here i will uh, so here i'm going to put the number so i will be putting num okay and then here i'm going to put the character so for that we have taken letter right so we can use this letter okay so now if i run this you are going to get the result as 1a 2b and 3c let's see that so see the result what you are getting so you are getting as 1a 2b and 3c okay now the next concept we are going to see is about the aggregate function okay so here what we are going to do is let me increase the length of this list let's say 4 5 and 6 okay now someone asks you to do the summation of the list element all the list uh, element summation okay so where sum of all is equal to so we can use numbers okay dot aggregate okay so we want this function aggregate and then we want to use the accumulator function okay so we can write something like this accumulator dot number this sign accumulator plus number okay 
so this is going to be run for all those elements and this is going to sum all those elements okay using this aggregate function let's see what is sum all we are getting so ideally you should get uh, 336 4 10 15 21 okay let's see that so yes you are getting 21 okay so this is the huge case of aggregate function okay let's move to the next concept and that is about the select menu okay so for that i need to create a i need to create a class okay so let me delete this let me create a class called okay let me create a class called order okay and here i will have an id and then i will have a products okay so public list of string okay and then the name of the member is product okay get set that's all so these are the two data member of uh, class order we have here orders is equal to new list of order okay and then here we are going to uh, add two orders okay so what we can do is new order okay and here we are going to add this thing so id is going to be one then we want the products as well right so products is going to be new list of string okay and then this is going to be uh let's say pro duct one okay comma product two okay just give one up space here that's fine so this is my first order okay and then i want another order as well so this is going to be let me copy this but here i am going to do is i am going to do id as two and product as product three okay and this is fine i don't want this okay now guys if someone asks you to get all these three products okay so for that what you can do is you can use this select many operation where all products is equal to uh, orders okay dot select many and then you can do order order dot product okay see what you are getting in all products so result view you are getting product one two and product three okay all the three products you are getting okay so that is all i had guys uh, if you have any question you can comment it out uh, or milton next video till then bye bye take care